Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Nature's Beauty. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Um, I want to try something here. There's these huckleberry leaves, or, you know, there's other berry bushes as well, but let's just try with these. We totally can pick these up. So, out of curiosity, this is going to be an experiment. If I just plant these like so... Oh, look at that. They'll totally grow berries. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so we can make a berry farm fairly easily then. By, and one that actually looks good instead of just like a, a bunch of blobs of stuff. We can do that pretty easily. So here's the other question. If we take all of these and we go like that, right? Can gather all this. If I break that, okay, the leaves stay. Now, the other question is, do these drop saplings? I d oh, look at this. Bushlings. So we can actually plant these and grow more. So if I just plant a few of these around. Let's see if these will grow into like full-blown bushes. Let's just plant one here, 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 and um, here. Sure. We'll just leave those be for now. Um, I, basically, the, the berries are just such a good source of food. We'll get into other food later, because that's kind of like a, a thing in this pack. Like, there's a ton of different foods and stuff to play around with. Um, but the berries are just so good, because they provide a decent amount of saturation. They're super easy to get lots of in a, you know, fairly quick manner. And, uh, you know, they get the job done. So, um, anyway, let's do some work on the Hobbit Hole today. I spent some time between episodes. I did a bunch of mining. Got a whole bunch of mining done, smelted up all the ores and stuff, and I also went tree chopping and gathered a whole bunch of oak wood. Uh, so, I want to do some work on the house today, as I said, or on the hobbit hole, or whatever you want to call it. I think, I, I've been thinking about this, I do want to have kind of like this rustic feel down here. Um, so all this brick and granite, I think I want to swap this all out for oak. Uh, and we should have the chisel mod. So if we grab... Have I made a chisel yet? I don't think I have. Uh, so let's grab a diamond. All that stuff. There we go. Grab this stick. First things first, we make a chisel. Then we combine it with a gold ingot and a piece of redstone, and that makes the eye chisel. And then we can chisel this stuff into planks of various different types. And I'm thinking, for down here, we want this kind of rustic feel, so maybe... Hmm, we could go something like this. That might be what we're looking for. Let's just try it, like, right here, and see how this looks. Let's just get all this stuff out of the way, put that there, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work nicely. And then we can do uh, other types of wood to kind of add a little bit of a pattern or, or whatever we want to do. So for now, we'll just do something like that. Let's throw the torch back up for the moment. We'll figure out proper lighting later. Uh, but that way we have a little bit of a difference between... Uh, the upstairs and the downstairs, like, I do want this to have a, a little bit of a different feel to it than just this oak. Uh, but I think this will work nicely. So, let me get some work on, uh, some work done on this. I'm gonna get these walls swapped out and all that kind of stuff. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright guys, I am back, so check it out. We got all the walls in place. All the walls are swapped out. I also swapped this out for spruce. This was, uh, stone brick before. And what's left to do is this room. Now, I love this, I guess you would call it like an oven. I love the idea of having like a fireplace right here. I love that idea. However, <laughs> there are some things about this fireplace, uh, namely 
the materials used and kind of the shape of it and stuff as well that I'm not really as huge of a fan of. So we're going to do some stuff with that. But before we do, let's tackle the ceiling up here because we've got all this like stone brick and brick. And with the rest of this being wood, it looks really out of place. So we want to deal with that as well. Let's just get rid of all this. We'll use our hammer to speed up the removal process. The demo. Demo day. It is, this, is, this is demo day. Um, <laughs> sorry, my wife watches a lot of HGTV and uh, I can't help but overhear some of it. Anyway, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. So let's go ahead and just finish tearing this little bit out. And then I like, you know, most of the things about this room are pretty good from like a, a, a shape standpoint. I, I think the ceiling is a good height, especially since it allows for that little window up there. Uh, like a lot of this is pretty solid, but uh, it's just a matter of switching out some of these materials. So I've got some dark oak slabs here and I'm thinking we'll just kind of run. Maybe what we could do actually is run this like a beam, right? Across like so. And then we would n run another one right here. Just going up all the way. So you got a beam there. And then we'd probably do another one here. So let's just kind of Get that in. There we go. And then finally, one more beam here as well. And we'll just jump and good. Okay, then I think maybe what we can do is swap all of these out for uh, spruce. Because right now, this is these blocks aren't actually. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can put that right there, and nobody will know the difference. It's all good. All right, so that's fine. And then we need to do this little bit right here, and you. Good. And then we should be able to just swap that stuff out. Oh, and that one. There we go. We should be able to swap pretty much all of this out for spruce wood. And I think we'll be mostly good. And then we've got a chimney here. So let's just kind of bring that down a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to use cobblestone for the chimney. I, I, I do want to have a fireplace here. Uh, I know that absolutely 100% for sure. But we need to get the ceiling sorted out first. And then we can start thinking about how we want to design this awesome fireplace thing. So let's go like here, right? And then can we reach and not right there. Let's just do that. And then here, here and here. Okay, that looks good there and then finally right here so we could do something like this and then maybe we, we maybe we even do want yeah i think we want another beam running right down the center of the room as well like that maybe uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, well, let's sort out this fireplace before we do anything else. So, first of all, I gotta get rid of the fire. Then, I'm thinking... Let's just tear away the majority of this. We got some stuff here that kinda has to go. Uh, that's all fine. We can get rid of this brick as well. We'll probably end up getting rid of some of this chimney. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, 
And then here, we're going to get rid of basically all of this so that we can rebuild uh, a fireplace that we like a bit more that looks a bit more in keeping with, like, the general style and theme of, you know, this sort of, like, rustic hobbit hole type thing that we're building. So let's just get rid of all that. There we go. Shovel out this dirt right here. Get rid of that. There we go. And patch those holes. Okay. Lovely. And then we just need... To get this spruce in. I did make myself a builder's wand, by the way. Which was well worth it. Okay. I think that is pretty good. So, for now, let me just bring these edges down to kind of mark out, like, where our fireplace has to go. I do also have fire spread turned off. I think. <laughs> let's uh, let's make sure of that. Open to land cheats. Game rule do fire tick false. Yeah, I'm 99% sure we had already done that, but just to be safe, let's <laughs> let's make sure we don't want to burn down our house while we're doing this. Um, and I like you know having fire spread turned off makes it a lot. It, like it opens up a lot of building options. Uh, which is why in almost all of my single-player worlds uh, where there's kind of a building focus, like with this series, I turn off fire spread. Um, anyway, let's put this stuff away. There we go. And then let's grab some stone brick here. Let's grab a little bit of cobblestone. Let's grab some of these oak planks and stuff. Uh, this I'm just going to convert, oh, convert back into regular coal. Put that in here. Okay, let's see, and actually, you know what, let's take this crafting table with us for the moment. So I'm just going to put that down uh, right here. That's fine. Okay, so now, this is where we want our fireplace to go. So here's what I'm thinking. I think, first of all, I want a few stone brick stairs. And I'm thinking we want, like, a mantle up here, right? This is where the actual fire itself will go. Right here. And let's just mark that out with uh, a regular oak log. Okay? So this all seems good. Good, and then we'll probably put, like, something like this to mark out our mantle. I'll swap these guys out for stone brick, like so. I like the idea of having something kind of coming forward here, like the wall a little bit, or like another shelf. So just let's try a little bit of an experiment here. Let's put this down and then let's maybe go like this and just see how does that look? And then we'd probably want to bring this up one more. Yeah. Or maybe... Hmm. I'm just trying to picture this. Let's see here. We know that this is going to be stone brick back here. Uh, also, we know that this stuff can just be built in. Like so. Okay. So then let's go... Ooh. Stone brick, please. There. 
Let's build these up. And let's say... Let's try this. Let's do something like that. And then here... We'll end up kind of scooting this back. A little bit. And probably this one as well. Like, I know that's the furnace up there or whatever, but it doesn't really have to be. And my thinking here is that if we do it like this, it allows us to work some depth into this a little bit. So let's go like here, here, here. There, here, and then stairs like that. That's okay. I mean, obviously the, the chimney does not function quite as well, but it's not horrible. Uh, do we have vertical slabs by any chance? Uh, slab. I thought there was a vertical slab in this pack. Maybe not. Maybe that was a mod that I experimented with and it didn't work at all that well and I ended up removing it or something. There were a few like that. Uh, okay. So let's fill this in. We'll have to end up putting some light and stuff in there, but that's okay. Let's do this. You, uh, good, I still have my chisel. You turn into this. We'll go here. And I can't reach it. Of course I can't reach it. Let's just make a couple more of those guys. And then we'll just go oop, oop, like so. Uh, that seems too wide. Let's cut out these corner ones. Like so. Yeah, that seems better. For sure. I kind of like the idea, though. Instead of having a stone brick mantle here. What if we did, like, a dark oak mantle instead? That could look really nice. We do something like that. Uh, we do need some sort of light back here just to keep things from spawning inside because that will not look very good if we do that. Or it won't sound very good, I should say, if there's like zombie sounds and stuff coming around. But I think that might work. And then you can kind of see the fireplace there. Let's grab some dark oak stairs. Let's grab that iron bar back and a flint and steel. There we go. And then we'll go. Let's try something like. Uh, you know what? Honestly, we could even bring that out farther and it might look OK. Something like that. Iron bar here. Light that. So there's the actual fire itself. And then we could do like a, a stone brick stair, maybe? Or maybe a, a slab right here. Just put a, a stone brick slab like so. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. And then maybe we could even do something like this. That's kind of nice. I'm not liking this. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's break you. Go oak. And oak. There we go. 
And then we go here. Here. Slab, slab, maybe? Maybe something like that could work? Uh, oak. Hmm. I mean, I don't know that I'm actually going to have anything on the mantle as well, so the other thing we could do is just go... Slabs like so. That might work. That's not horrible. I think that's kind of a nice look. Like, it works. Um, I'm trying to think. What if we just did away with these stairs? How would that look in comparison? I think I actually like that a little bit better. And then there's a couple of torch lights back there, but that's fine. Yeah, I think I think this works. I think this is fairly okay. Just kind of looking at it. Or the other option would be to downsize it even further and just make it like that, but then I think it's it's too short. Or, you know, the other thing you could do. Here's a thought. You could also raise the top up so we go up here like that and we could do something like this instead that could also work and if you're gonna do that then I think it makes a little bit more sense kind of extend those out a little bit. Oh man, I wish we had vertical slabs. I would I would seriously love to just have vertical slabs. And you know what we do have uh framed slabs, frame blocks, and these are like super cool. Like check this out. Right? Uh I need a little bit more. There we go. So you got these slabs here, and you can put these down, but unfortunately, they don't, uh, they're only, uh, you know, you can only place them like normal slabs. But then you can apply any texture to them, which is really cool. Like, there's some really nifty stuff you can do with this and chisel together. Because the chisel mod is amazing, and it's awesome, but it doesn't give you chisel variants for stairs and slabs. So, like, right here, for example, we've got these guys... Uh, and if we want to make framed blocks, let's just convert. How did I end up with three? I guess you can't convert those back. Okay. Let's just do something like this framed. There we go. And then we could make a couple of stairs, right? So, like, right here, take out these stairs, which are just the vanilla texture. Go there instead and say, uh, I'd really like it to have this texture so it matches up with the walls. And now it does. Which I think is really cool. And then maybe you say, you know what, I want this to not be such a rounded edge. So then we do this. And now we've got this nice little kind of, like, oak door that totally works. But it's also a texture that you wouldn't normally be able to use. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like it. Let's actually stick with that. So that's kind of what we've got going here, and I think, like, it works out. I think it's fairly good. We've got, like, these little cubby holes up here. We could maybe put some plants back there or something to add, like, a little bit of color. You know, eventually we're going to come through... And I'm going to be taking out, like, all this carpet. Uh, I'll be converting these rooms into rooms that are a bit more practical for what we want to use. I also really like this, by the way. This, like, recessed wall. 
uh, with the shelf and stuff. That's one of the big advantages of building underground is that like you can do all sorts of stuff with depth that you wouldn't normally be able to do. So like, for example, right here, there's uh, there's basically nothing behind this that's important. So we could add like a little bit of uh, like a shelf or something, you know, some sort of feature to kind of bring that to life a little bit more and add some uh, some interest. Now, we're almost certainly going to need a door that goes off in this direction. So I'm actually going to add that right now, I think. And I want it lined up with this door. There we go. And then up here, we'll put our stair, stair, slab, and that. So we'll do this to mark out that this is going to be a door, even though it's not actually a door right this second. It will be. And then the other thing I'm going to have to do is come in with the shears and just get rid of all this wool. Uh, because, like, I get what the, they're trying, what Recurrent Complex is trying to do. Recurrent Complex, by the way, that's a question I get all the time. What mod adds all the cool structures and makes the villages look good and stuff like that? Recurrent Complex is the name of the mod, and it's amazing. It's one of my favorite, one of my favorite mods um, for just kind of, like, adding uh, atmosphere to basically any Minecraft world. Like, it's just so good for that. Um, but anyway... What I was going to say is that uh, Recurrent Complex is somewhat limited in certain things. Uh, like, some some things don't really generate the way that you would expect or, or whatever it may be. Uh, for example, uh, these chairs were facing the wrong direction. I fixed them. So there's some kind of quirky stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, it's amazing. And... The carpet thing, they were using these this wool as carpeting, uh, but I, I would, I, if I'm going to do a carpet, I would rather just use actual carpet instead of wool blocks that are on the same level of depth. Um, I also think that this table, like, with us having oak walls now, I don't think we want to use oak for our shelves uh, or for our, our furniture and stuff like that. I think we probably want to use dark oak is what I'm leaning towards. So, like here, uh, there, there, and there, right? That pops out just so much better. Just doing this instead. That way it actually, you know, pops out and it's no, it's much more noticeable. Um, so like, eh, for maybe, maybe for like this table, it would be fine. Uh, but we could do dark oak chairs. Uh, or something like that. We'll sort it out. I don't think I want to necessarily... Like, I like the idea of having a table here. But I don't really like the placement of the table that much. And I think, uh, you know, some of this stuff will want to change up. Uh, but, unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. So I gotta call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.